To perform this replacement, you will need a 3 quarters inch spade bit, a drill, T15 and T27 Torx tamper proof bits, two 7 16 inch wrenches, a black marker, and a tape measure. Before starting this procedure, toggle the game's power switches to off and remove the AC line cables. Remove both back panels of the game using a T27 Torx tamper proof bit. Remove the four screws and washers that hold the plastic arm extension cap at the end of the headset arm in place using a T15 Torx tamper proof bit. Slide the plastic arm extension cap off by passing the cables through the slit. Remove the bolt and nut holding the top end of the aircraft cable in place using two 7 16 inch wrenches. Remove the 8 screws that secure the perforated plate and illumination panel to the headset arm using a T15 Torx tamper proof bit. Remove the two screws and washers that hold the underarm cover plate in place using a T27 Torx tamper proof bit. Unhook the end of the cable retractor from the headset cables. Unplug the headset you're replacing from the corresponding computer. The Player 1 headset is connected to the outer computer, which is the computer touching the outside wall of the game, while the Player 2 headset is connected to the inner computer. There are three cables to unplug, two USB cables and one DisplayPort cable. There is a button on the underside of the DisplayPort connector that you'll need to press in order to remove it. Locate the headset power adapter box and unplug it from the AC adapter. From the front of the headset arm, pull out the headset cables from the game and set the headset aside. If you're having difficulty, it's likely that the power adapter box is getting stuck on something. Try to guide it through by reaching through the openings in the arm or pushing it through from the back of the game. Locate the hole at the front of the headset arm and mark a point one quarter inch directly above the top of the hole. Use a drill and a three quarter inch spade bit to drill a hole at the marked location. When the drill bit is about to break through the plastic, it's possible that the drill bit will catch on the plastic and the drill will rotate towards you. Be aware of this possibility and take precautions. Wearing safety glasses is recommended. Alternatively, a jigsaw may be used to cut the enlarged opening shown. Reinsert the bolt and nut that you removed earlier from the bracket at the front of the headset arm, making sure that the bolt goes through the top loop of the aircraft cable of the headset. Tighten the bolt and nut. Feed the replacement headset cables through the modified opening at the front of the headset arm and make sure that the replacement power adapter box is able to fit through the modified opening. If it doesn't, Cut away more plastic from the opening until it fits through. As you did before, 
Use the openings in the arm to guide the cables through the arm and cabinet. Plug the AC adapter into the headset power adapter box. Plug the headset cables into the corresponding computer. The two USB cables should be plugged into any of the ports circled in red, while the display port cable should be plugged into the port circled in blue. Pull the line out of the cable retractor and attach it to the headset cables between the two grommets that are closest to each other. Reinstall the underarm cover plate, the two parts that you removed from the side of the headset arm, the plastic arm extension cap, and the back panels of the game. Plug in the AC line cables, toggle the game's power switches to on, and then wait for the game to boot. Navigate to the calibration menu and calibrate the replacement headset by following the directions on screen. If you have any questions, reach out to us using the contact information shown on screen.